deleted all my Pokemon. <laughs> oh shit, here we go, Pichu, it's about to fall, finally. I mean, it's kind of weird because it's from level 28 and not to 29, like, it's the first uh, level up of the grind session, so it's a bit weird, but it's finally time, we got Pichu. Oh my gosh, it's finally time. All right, it is time for the beta, uh, the vintage, the retro Pikachu. Yeah, congratulations. Ah, oh, look at him in all his glory. All right, let's continue. Hopefully it did, uh, hopefully it did, oh my god. <laughs> C4 is level 30, here we go. Karua, Calamity Springs and Carelessness. And it is time, C4, who evolves at level 30, is finally here. Our first event, X Pokemon, or just X Pokemon cut, period. It is about time. I've been looking forward to this thing evolving. You know, I'm glad I got C4 back. And now, it is time for the The Electabuzz X is here. There we go. Hell yeah. I might as well, it's gonna be hope elated or some shit. I don't know what the hell I was talking about earlier. El Tigre's level 34, let's go. Alright, the fucking Sunny Moon starters evolve early. Nice, though, that's pretty good, because now we got ourselves. Uh, not only did we get Shiny Litten and Shiny Toracat, but now it evolves into Shiny Incineroar, who. <laughs> I'm so not used to seeing. I thought I was unused to seeing Toracat. I have hardly ever seen a Shiny Incineroar. Darkest Lariat? Yeah, with the signature move and everything. Um, let's go see the power right quick. 85 out of 100%. Okay. Um, I'm gonna keep Lick. I'll get rid of Bite. I think that's the good call, because I, I want to keep a little bit of diversity. I don't think I ever used Lick, but that's fine. Alright, let's hope lead everybody else in this place. What is up, Scar Knight, bringing you Pokemon Xenoverse Nuzlocke Part 26. In the last part, we got into the top of Mount Starburst and talked to the grandfather of Queen Nufar, Cardinal Abraham, and there was quite a bit of story-driven stuff, I would say, for the least. Like, there's a lot of shit that went down, so if you missed that on that episode, be sure to watch it, but uh, only if you've been keeping up, because if this is your first episode, Watching that episode, you'd be so thrown off and you won't know the context of it. So that's why I always suggest just be sure to watch from the top. And then I guarantee you, you're going to benefit it much more and all that. Because I know there's new people coming every day. And, you know, they be clicking on the recent epilo uh, ep epilodes, episodes, or whatever is recommended. But that's my biggest suggestion, you know. A lot of shit went down and I want you to enjoy it at its full capacity. But, I mean, yeah, th there is quite a bit that happened. In this episode, however, we're gonna go see the granddaughter of Cardinal Abraham, Queen Nufar, because this is a gym episode, and, uh, yeah, it's gonna more likely be an hour special, because, like, I don't know if I'm going to show the grinding montage, there might be a chance, but in case I don't, um... Yeah, that, that, that's pretty much the reason why, is because it's guaranteed an hour, because she has quite a bit of gym trainers ahead, so I, yeah, the, the, there's quite a bit of stuff. And there was also a bunch of mascos, well, not a bunch of, I saw three mascos of the camera up ground type style variety, and uh, those are 1% mons, and... Like, there was part of me a while ago considering to use a Masco Claws, but I'm like, nah, that's... If I'm able to find three, they're more common than shiny and, and vintage Pokemon. So we'll just remain with the shiny Claws and perhaps the vintage Claws if there is one or not. And, you know, so uh, waiting for the feedback on that. But yeah, just wanted to point that out, because we did take on all the trainers of Gravity Tunnel and Mount Starburst and stuff, and just pretty much everybody that we missed at this point. 
And yeah, so if you are looking forward to this episode and want to see more, be sure to click on that like button. The like goal is going to be 26 likes. And every single time we match an episode on the like goal, we will have an additional episode the following week. And you know, there's also other opportunities with the secondary like goal, but we'll save that at the end of the episode. But yeah, let's uh, go without further ado, introduce the Pokemon properly. So let's go introduce Starscream to the Decepticons. So if Starscream looks different to you, it's because you missed the last episode. It's, like I said, quite a bit happened. But it's Tri Shout, and I'm not going to say the AKA part because that it will be a future question of the day of all the Xenoversal starter Pokemon of what their name should be. But it's fire sound type, and now it's holding the Xenoversal ring, as opposed to the terrestrial one, so there's that. Attack is up, special defense is down with the huge power ability, doubles the Pokemon attack stat, which if you look at the stats, our special attack is 123, and our attack is 69, giggity. But, the, if, you know, if you were to put huge power into account, that equals to 138, which is pretty good, or is it 128? I can't do math. But yeah, you know what I mean, though. I think it was 138. Yeah, that's quite a bit, I would say. So it's practically a mixed attacker. A little bit more on the, the uh, attacking side. But our moves, Fire Punch, Jet Strike, Flamethrower, and Hyper Voice, our attacking moves is a little bit slightly weaker than our special moves. Because our special moves is way, way, way stronger. But... We have this, you know, just so we could uh, hit all our targets, but we got rid of Toxic and we got rid of Howl, so that's what it is. But Flamethrower we learned at level 34, and Hyper Voice we got from the Move Relearner, and uh, yeah, that's where we got it from. Because always check when a Pokemon has a different form or has evolved, it's always good to check the Move Relearner, because they might have Egg Moves that the previous evolution or previous form does not. Naughty Nature Down found in the Nova Ranch as our starter Pokemon at level 5, and it has the sturdy body. Moon Sand, do 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 do, the Sandy Gas, the most strongest, fastest, pridefulest Sandy Gas in all the land, the Ghost Ground type holding the Lucky Egg. Special attack is down, speed is up with the Water Compaction ability, which is Water Absorb with defensive capabilities. Toxic, Mega Drain, Astonish, and Dig. Jolly Nature found in the Stardust Beach. Uh, I almost said through an event, no, through the grass, level 5, and it's proud of its power, you know. And it's C4, C4, C4 evolves some more, Electabuzz X, the fire type mon, holding the quick claw. Special attack is down, special defense is up, with the aftermath ability, which is completely useless to me. Uh, like, it, it requires me to, to, well, not requires, but it only activates upon death, so it's like, who the fuck wants that? But, Fire Punch, Swift, Quick Attack, and Low Kick. Careful Nature, found in the Stardust Beach, through an event as Elekid X. I almost said Elected X, but that wouldn't make sense. At level 7, and it's alert to sound. We got Vade, the Tyrant Killer, the Manticore, the Fairy Poison type, the holding the Queen's Rock because she is the Queen, and she slays specifically Tyrants. And yeah, attack is up, defense is down with the Poison Point ability, and as Poison Tail, Slash, Dazzling Gleam, and Attract. Um, we did learn Slash in like level 31, I want to say, uh, early 30s at some point, and got rid of Assist. Lonely Nature found in the Milky Way City through the grass outside and had FA Funk counter level 18 and it's mischievous. Ooh. El Tigre, the shiny Incineroar looking like the grandpappy of Shiny Tora Cat or perhaps the father of Incineroar, depending on how you see it in human ears, but fire dark type, ought to munching orange, holding the razor claw. Defense is up, special attack is down with the blaze ability. Cross chop, dark is lariat, fire fang, and lick. Cross chop is where we got from the movie learner. I figured that'd be a, a better punch than it would with like a uh, double kick. And dark is lariat, we learned upon evolving, so there's that. Impish nature found in the Milky City um, through the mystery gift at level 5, and it is also alert to sounds. And we got Retro Pikachu, the Beta Pikachu, the Vintage Pikachu. I'm so not saying, so not used to saying that because Pichu is so much easier to say because two syllables and all that. But 1080p, 3D, full resolution, full revolution, best of the best of them, Pikachu. Ready to fuck shit up. Hold on the Focus Sash. So yeah, attack is down, special attack is up with the static ability. 
Thunderbolt, Quick Attack, Thunder Wave, and Sweet Kiss. Modest Nature found in Space World and had a faithful encounter at level 20 and likes to fight. Daddy girl. And yeah, that is all our Pokemon for today. I don't think I noticed any uh, Mon with the experience share. Did you have the Lucky Egg, right? Yes, you did. Okay, so I'm going to put you in the front and um, with the... Let me just double check in case I just didn't... I uh, remember it. Now the experience share is here. I, I guess I put it away after grinding or something. Um, I'll give it to C4 because like I don't think you'll have as much action in this gym. But yeah, we, we could do that. But yeah, let us go forth into facing uh, these uh, this whole gym right here. So let's go ahead. Yeah, do you remember Mont? That... That Pokemon tricked us, but we'll learn from our mistakes. For the queen and the people. And a time. We won't be beaten. We'll come back stronger than ever. Okay, let's go talk to you. Welcome back, Geo. So tell me, did you manage to meet Gramps? Yeah, like, there's a whole lot of stuff that happened. Like, my trash out completely changed and everything. What? You gained a new power on the volcano? I mean, that's one way to put it. This is fabulous. I knew that Grants would have brought the full potential out of you. I'm sure you're going to solve the Kenyan problem in the blink of an eye now. But first, I would really like to touch this new power of yours, so I'm waiting for you inside the gym. I can assure you it won't be that easy. I'll see you inside. Okay, so... <laughs> Yeah, there's uh, that going for us. By the way, like the uh, you can see the Yamask and, and the Confagrius on the pyramid if you haven't already. And the Confagrius on this thing right here. But uh, yeah, there's Yamask torches on the top. So I should probably mention because you probably will get thrown off on the way I play in this episode. Because for those that are new or whatever... Um, like, you know, I look ahead in the series with the different content creators, so I pretty much know this gym inside out, because I tend to do that um, for every gym episode, like, I would watch ahead, but in this case, I, I watched the footage, like, not that long ago, and I pretty much got it in the bag, at least for the most part. But there's something inside this ancient jar, and it's a hyper potion. This is supposed to be like a Mega Man moment where like they kind of teach you just by, hey, if you check these jars, then you might get some more stuff on the other jars. So that's pretty good. Welcome to Ishtar City's gym, young trainer. What? You want to know if I'm paid to follow you? Sadly, no. But always remember, I'm cheering for you. This time before starting, I want to test your sense of observation. I want to see if you're ready, Chosen. So tell me, which type do you think the gym leader specializes? Either fire, water, ground, or ghost. Now, all these uh, clues right here, or all these clues, I wanted to say that there is clues saying which type Queen Nufar is. And uh, if you were paying attention and all that, then you would know that it's clearly ghost type. Bravo, you seen the Confagrius at the entrance, right? So... Wrong answer, try again. Yeah, no, that was, uh, bamboozlery or whatever. But, yeah, it's clearly fire type. <laughs> the torrid climate of the city led you astray. Try again. Alright, ground type. It's clearly a desert. Just because this is an oasis in the desert? Don't be cliche. Come on, try again. I was wrong about you. You're not ready. Alright, water type Pokemon, then. You have carefully observed her clothing. Nice. I see. You pervert. Yeah, that's right, Nufar is a water type specialist. Counter her rushing stream with electric type or sound type Pokemon, or grass type Pokemon. Alright, I'll give you a clue after all. If you hit the vending machine enough times, you might get lucky enough to get some famous Amos cookies. And if you're really lucky, you might get some bag of Cheetos. I would really like to have some, please. I wanted to test your inside ability because you're really going to need it in this gym. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if he's talking about the Cheetos. Those are my fucking Cheetos, alright? Uh, whatever his name is. Alright, so let us proceed. And then there's this guy right here blocking this way. It's Abbas. Here you come, Challenger. The challenge of the Istar Gym is based on our ancestors' games. The first one you're going to challenge is called the Game of Farfetched. 
The floor is dotted with platforms depicting the effigy of various Pokemon where you need to find your way on. Only by reading and decrypting in the right way the clues on these pillars, you will know which road to take. But if you miss your step, you will find out on your own the fate you're destined to. And that's all for this game. Try your best and watch your steps, trainer. Okay. Um, so, basically what he was saying is, there's these platforms right here with hieroglyphs on them. And, uh, they're all supposed to mean something, and you're supposed to try to walk across. And that glowy statue down there gives you a clue. So, you see that the top, well, besides the wall, because you see a Puyo Kamuku, Lucario, and Ekans. And besides that, the platforms, you'll see Espeon, Alephion, and then the Pan Semi Monkeys, or whatever they're called, but, um... Yeah, the the thing is with the with the pan monkeys, like they all look pretty similar except for Pan Seer, except he's not here at the moment. Cause what we're looking at is Pan Poor and Pan Sage. And uh they have similar like outline silhouettes if you wanna say. The one I'm looking at directly is Pan Sage, cause you could tell cause there's seeds on the little broccoli part of the head, and then there's eyes for some reason, and there's also a like the tail's a bit different because with the uh, pan pour right here it's just supposed to be a waterfall and for some reason doesn't have any eyes and i don't know what the tail's a reference to because clearly like with this one it could be anything like a twig with leaves or a plant you know i i don't know what the tail's a reference to because like it's supposed to be a water type pokemon but yeah um if you went to the wrong platform trying to cross it you'll end up going over here and have to face a gauntlet of trainers depending of how far you get and uh yeah you don't want to be there for sure so yeah inside this jar is a soda pop okie dokie Let's go over here and check these other jars because they do be important. I'm um, careful with this trainer because even though he's on the ledge, he can still battle you if you cross his path. So I know that because, like I said, I look ahead in the content creators. So yeah, one of them got caught into their web and stuff, and it was just not fun for them, I guess. But yeah, now with this unknown writing, we have to decipher what it means, and what that says is walk on the grass. It says it seems an ancient writing. I'm pretty sure it means it seems to be an ancient writing, but I don't want to be a grammar Nazi, but it is what it is. It sounded like the Madam Jingle. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> um, but walk on the grass. That clue pretty much means you have to walk on the grass type Pokemon. Now, as I mentioned, the Pan Sage is this thing that I'm looking at right here, and you can walk all over it. You can't do that with the Pan Poor, because then you'll end up facing that trainer down there. And then the next one is to go to Leafeon, and not the Espeon. There's something about this Espeon that kind of looks like a Umbreon a little bit, but, you know. Yeah, so let's go check on these jars. Nothing in them. And with this one, walk on the fire is what it says. And then that pretty much means you just have to walk on the fire type Pokemon and you'll see that there's new symbols with Heracross and Panseers. You clearly have to walk on the Panseers. And then down here is a new symbol of Volcarona who is clearly a fire type, fire bug to be precise. And that's for the most part. And I see that Pidgeot back there, look at that. Oh, we got an Elixir, that's pretty good. Okay, so let's go over here, nothing there, okay. I'll look at that statue a little bit later, because there's this guy right here. When alone, nothing happens, but together, an odd power emerges and intensifies. So that's Cheris. Now with uh, Cheris right here, um, like, I don't know if you noticed, but he also has a Yamask mask like that he's wearing. He's just covering like the mouth a little bit. But uh, I kind of like the way he looks, like not so much the mushroom hoodie hat thing, but like the cloak is cool because I see like an unknown symbol on his like right arm. Yeah, it's right. Because my left is his right and stuff, but yeah, and we go against Starmie. But yeah, since we're going up against water type Pokemon, uh, Moonsand's gonna be a pretty good MVP because these water Pokemon with this AI, especially like when I noticed during the grinding montage, is that they don't fully process and understand that like I'm immune to water type Pokemon. All they understand is that I'm weak to water types so they'll keep attacking me with that same move. So I just got the advantage unless they decide to use something else that's super effective against me. 
So yeah, that's uh, pretty good. So Moonsen is definitely going to be the MVP of this gym. But I uh, don't think it's going to be that easy that I'm going to be able to sweep everybody. It's not that simple, but yes, unity strength. Yeah, it's uh, it's for sure saying something, but going down here, there's uh, new symbols with Malamar and Kabutops. And when you go up here onto the clue statue, it says walk on the water. You know, just like Jesus. Oh my god, wow. So now we have to walk on the water type Pokemon. And as I said with the Pan Sage and Pan Pores, uh, the Pan Sages have the seeds, the eyes, and the tail difference compared to the Pan Pore. So walking on the water type Pokemon, you go on Pan Pore, then Kabutops, and then you might go over here and you might go like get a little bit overwhelmed, but it's easier than you think. It's Kabutops because he's water rock type to Pan Pore. So another pan pour, kabutops, and then another pan pour, and then a kabutops yet again. And uh, after you walk through the path, you see it more clearly. But yeah, I could tell that a lot of people get a bit overwhelmed by doing that. Um, nothing in these fucking jars. There's something in this one. PP Max. Nice. Okie dokie. And this one's empty. Okay. Luck does not exist. Exists a moment when preparation meets opportunity. It's Darian. See a sheep behind that? What the hell? I know, I could tell. I know it. It's Puyo Kamuku. That might be problematic, because, uh, you know, Puyo Kamuku is like second to Wabafet. You know, it's not like the Puyo Kamuku X that I one shot it. Like, because this. Like, Puyo Kamukus, they do have counter. But more so, oh, I should probably be careful. Fuck. Hold on. Let me let me toxic it. Because I was just gonna say, and I just kind of like zoned out a bit, honestly. <laughs> uh, that uh, let me just use dig, honestly. Um, the thing with Puyo Kamuku is they have an ability uh, known as Innards Out. So that damage I just did with the uh, Mega Drain. Uh, and it did half damage. If it was the other way around and it was already at half health and it died like that, Innards Out would activate and it would double the damage on the on the final hit. And that would suck. But uh, I went around that. Unless it just doesn't have Innards Out, I just don't know what other ability it could have. Fortune smells on one man or the other, but never on both. But yeah, he is definitely a tricky one that you should watch out for, but... Yes, let's go over here. And this one says, the luck is part of the game. Yet again with that letter G unknown just looking like a fucking Y. I really hate that, but what that means is whenever you uh, walk, for example, like these question mark unknowns, they're not going to give you a clue, so you really have to just go by instinct, because you got a 50-50 shot on both sides of these. I'm going to start with this side first, and I do know the past, because, you know, as I mentioned yet again, that I look ahead in the series, um, that the correct way to go to is Leafeon, followed by Pansage. I don't know why it's the grass type Pokemon again, but at least down here, you get yourself an energy powder. All right, let's go down here. It's just the let's play your part in me that like uh, really decided. I mean, I don't regret it. I feel like if I didn't check ahead, uh, that I it would have been longer than an hour episode. Just trust me on that. But this is pretty much a treasure room. We got a revival herb and then a nugget. And then yet another nugget, like I feel like Legend of Zelda Link would go berserk when he sees this room. Like if there's any more jars, he, like who knows what will happen. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a lot of jars for sure. I, I, I wish I could break them is the thing, but yeah, we got quite a bit of stuff and they gave us like a revive a second ago and all these nuggets and big nuggets and stuff. I can't fit through there because of my fucking bobblehead, but it's okay. But we got ourselves a Cosmic Ball. Um, okay, let's go check that. And it says, A Pokeball inspired by Smith's project. It makes Pokemon that evolve using the Moonstone easier to catch. So it's practically a Moon Ball. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, actually I saw a YouTube short the other day that they said that the Kurt Abricorn Balls, like the Fastball, Love Ball, and Moon Ball is in program. 
the way it's supposed to because like the fastball for example is supposed to catch fast pokemon you know like electrode would be easier to catch because it's like one of the fastest months in the game and i know a lot of people save up fastballs to catch the legendary beast you know me especially and uh, but it only is programmed to catch pokemon that flees and the love poke uh the love ball is supposed to catch pokemon of the opposite gender of which one that you sent out on your own pokemon but the way that one's programmed is that it will only catch the same species and gender of the Pokemon. So it's kind of basically an extreme repeat ball in a way. And then the Moon Ball is programmed, you know, it's supposed to be evolve. Um, Pokemon that evolve via Moon Stones will be easier to catch. It doesn't work like that. It, it catches Pokemon easier if it evolves via Burn Heal. And since that doesn't exist, at least not yet. Um, it just functions like a regular Pokeball. So, yeah, it's kind of flawed, all those Pokeballs. But, I mean, it's a bit charming, I think. Um, but yeah. It's a bit of a reminder, the luck is part of the game. And when you go on this side, the correct answer is left, and then right. And that is, there is to it, and then you make it to the second section. But I do want to face the gym trainer, so I am going to fall down on purpose. And show off what's going on up here after checking this jar. It's so X speed. There we go. So yeah, let us go continue up here. And uh, I don't know what these other side things is because I, I really don't know if it's Italian. I, I I don't know. But there's this crack on the wall. Probably a special water type Pokemon could widen the crack on the wall. Um, so that means basically if you had your shoe long if you started with that pokemon you could get this as soon as right now really and you could see the rewards for going through here because i would say it's definitely for sure worth it it is for sure interesting on what's beyond that wall but let's go ahead and battle this guy you'll pay for your mistake with the currency of defeat is hassan now with these soldiers actually it's actually kind of Game of Thrones inspired. I think it's called the Unsullied. Um, I, I had to look that up before this episode because I, I did remember somebody mentioned it, but I, I didn't remember the name for the life of me because I haven't watched the show yet. But it has a Yamask mask on the helmet in case you didn't notice before. But Carvanaugh. <clears throat> Unless I pointed it out earlier, I already forgotten, but let's go with the Mega Drain. It has Bite. Oh, shit. Come on, one-shot it. Okay, good. Woo! That was uh, pretty scary, for sure. Uh, I, I keep thinking that I'm safe with all these water Pokemon, but shit. There's a Beauty Giddy. Oh, damn. Let's go with the Mega Drain. I was gonna say, like, I, I, you know, he can't do anything to me because he's water and I have water compaction, he's electric and I'm ground, and, but he hit me with the infestation anyway. Not that that does shit, but like, I would have spoken too soon, I think. That's okay, we could take him out. <sighs> but yeah, uh... I, I, part of me feels like I definitely should have did train more. Um, because I I'm not sure there's like I I only check the footage after the fact of grinding and uh, I feel like grinding some more I don't know forgive me my queen but yeah I'll put it on screen on what the the unsullied look like compared to this guy I mean maybe it's coincidence who knows or maybe the guy is a Game of Thrones fan but that's for the most part look at Puyukumuku boy like he looks like he's doing the rose hands or something yeah okay let's go over here uh nothing in these jars boy you should be facing that way on lucario he really wants to rose lucario for sure you could tell nothing in there okie dokie okay this guy's moving really fast you know he, he should have moved earlier i feel like Part of me feels like he, uh, he, like, just woke up and then he's just pretending to look like he's hard at work, because... Did he just start moving again? Hold on. Yeah, because I'm at a distance. Either he's tired or he's slacking. That's weird. I was just waiting for a trainer to fall down. Let's battle. This golly. 
Well, golly. Yeah, I don't know. I sometimes could see people, like, right through them and shit, and he's one of those. He, he's one of those people that, like, when the manager shows up, they work way harder just to be like, Haha, see? I <laughs> deserve a promotion. It is what it is. Night Slash? Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, it didn't do as much as I thought it would. That's still a dangerous uh, move. Like, if it critted, that would have did bonkers damage. Oh, Night Slash again. Okay, I'm, I'm really dreading the uh, the eventual crit that the Corefish didn't do, but I'm like, oh, it's gonna happen at some point. Level 35, though. Giga Drain. Hey. Um, Mega Drain's 60, and Giga Drain's clearly stronger with 75. It has 10 PP, you know, and Crystal used to have 5. I don't remember when it changed. It might have just been 3rd gen or something, but I don't recall. We're definitely gonna upgrade it. If it did have 5 PP, I would have, like, kind of been a bit more hesitant. But yeah, I think that's worth it. Gyarados! Ah, okay. I think I should just go straight into Starscream. Like, I know I got a Pikachu right there, but... I got like PTSD with like my Pichu fighting against Gyaradoses and it really struggled on that and I don't feel like I feel more comfortable with Pikachu but like not in front of a Gyarados like Gyaradoses could still hit pretty hard but Starscream could hit pretty harder that Hyper Voice really fucked it up that is crazy damage level 35 on C4 I love to fight even more of this for Queen of Four Alright, you don't have to talk fast too, bro. What the hell? Okay, let's go uh, switch our items. Let's go give you the good old Quick Claw. And then we'll give you the Lucky Egg instead of the Focus Sash for now. Um, and then you could be given the other quick claw um, and who should I give it to like Vey or El Tigre I think maybe Vey should get the experience share that sounds about right let's do it okay I believe in Pikachu Pikachu I do believe in I'm pretty sure I already checked these jars but uh, yeah let's just do it I guess okay let us continue onward, and I think this is the same guy that we saw before. Um, I just wanted to show this off. Yeah, so yeah, he could battle you from there. That's how I knew. We, we asked ourselves to put those who choose the wrong way. This Fida. Oh, damn, Fida, you're gonna try to do that? With the freaking Gyarados, are you shitting me with that? Oh, man. Alright, let's go switch over to Starscream, because like I said, I'm not comfortable with Pikachu out against Gyarados. Like, I know he's quite effective on them, but these Gyarados be fucking dangerous, man, I'm telling you. Hyper Voice. Ah, so good a one-shot Gyarados, is that, that's so good. And that is it for Fida. You'll never take us all down. Bro, I am in the process of doing that. Like, give me a second. Holy shit. Like, there's so many of you. I am tempted to heal uh, outside, but it's okay. I'll, I'll just use potions in here. Um, oh, this is going to bother me. Hang on. I need to switch my potions up here. Because I bought some new ones in there. Oh, I didn't even... Hold on. Do that. There we go. Uh, super potion on you. And yeah, that, that's as far as it goes. Okay, so it's a quick review. Walk on the grass. So you go on Pensage, Leafeon. Walk on the fire. Pensier, Pensier, Volcarona, and that's it. Walk on the water, and I want you to repeat this after I say it, okay? So, Pampor, Kabutops, Kabutops, Pampor, Pampor, Kabutops, Pampor, Kabutops. Alright, go ahead. No, I'm kidding. Alright, let's go over here, and uh, we reach this spot. The look is part of the game, and I mentioned that down there is the grass type Pokemon, and up here is left, and then right. And then yeah, that's pretty much it. That's, that's for the most part, and now we reach the second section, so let's go ahead and proceed. And then here's Abbas yet again. You've been able to reach here. This means you have completed in the first challenge. I'm impressed. Now let's move to the second game, the Unknown Checkers. The rules are simple. You have to move on the squares following the unknown writing from A to Z. Pokemon Legends. However, 
The path is fraught with pitfalls and some teleports might mislead you, making you retrace your own steps. Your hunch and your luck are the keys for this game. Okay, so in case you didn't know what he's talking about, basically we have to go in alphabetical order through the teleporters and throughout the whole place you'll get like not just one teleporter but it could be two or three or possibly even four and you have to make decisions on which teleporter takes you the correct direction. And yeah, this is uh, the letter B that's looking like a fucking G and then this letter E or, or shit letter c that looks like a letter e damn it it's a lowercase e um and then we made it to d all right let's go take on you idris idris alba like your your knuckles or something the unknown writing will amplify my power and this is a better view of the mask if i didn't point it out already but yeah uganda knuckles i know it's you bro behind that cloak the the other guy was a fucking um a lamb or whatever i said he was you're definitely knuckles. You can't fool me, bro. Octillery could be potentially dangerous, but let's see if I can hit it hard enough. Ah, uh, this is pretty good damage. Aurora beam. Okay, I could outspeed it. At least I hope so. Yeah, yeah. No reason to be fret about it. No reason to be fret about it. And that's it for Idris Elba. Between these letters, I'm nothing but an apostrophe. Between these letters, I'm nothing but an apostrophe. Why do you repeat them so? Between these letters, I'm nothing but a. Okay, good shit. You didn't need to repeat it a third time. Uh, let's go heal with one super potion. That should be good. I don't know why that Ugandan Knuckles advisor just repeated himself multiple times. I don't know why he repeated himself multiple times. Hey, this is the actual letter E. Okay, let's go over here. Does the other one look like a lowercase one? Uh, F, I think? And then G. Uh... This way? Oh. There's something inside this ancient jar. Max revive! Perfect! I now I'm covered with the gym. Like, I, I got it covered, I should say. X attack! Okay. And this is free, yeah? Fucking Taraxo, bro. Why you why you have to be a cheapskate and, and and really force me to pay? Are you shitting me with that? I will throw it into the abyss and no one would know it's me. They'd be like, well, weren't you the only one in the <laughs> in the checker board? I'm like, no, there's Idris and Jafar right here. You want some advice? Never challenge an advisor. You stay away from Jasmine, alright? Aladdin's on his way. And he's gonna beat your ass, dude. He's gonna beat your ass, Floatzel. Oh, crap. Okay, so, um... I could take on you. Pursuit. That did more damage than I thought it would do. Like, imagine if I actually switch. Could an Aqua Jet kill Pikachu at this range? It might. I should... I, I, I mean... I, I don't know if a quick attack could kill in this range, so I'm at Thunderbolt again. Oh. Okay, I think it would have killed if it did do Aqua Jet, because Pursuit, like, yeah, nah, that, that stab damage. Uh, I don't know, man. That's why I'm, like, not comfortable with Pikachu all the way. Uh, my mess hiding the bitter tears of failure. My mess hiding the bitter tears of failure. My mask hiding the bitter- okay, dude. He's like that meme with like the fucking, uh, the, the guy wearing the happy face mask and he's like crying in, in the background and, and has like, like snot running down his nose and shit. Let me use an actual super potion. I'm sure everybody knows what I'm talking about with that. I feel like I don't even need to explain it. Cause it just makes me feel like a silly lamb. It's okay, so we're at H. And now we're at I, um, this way? J. Okay, there's only one option for J. K, okay. L, um, shit. See, because I don't have this shit memorized, but we got lucky so far. Okay, clearly that's not the right way. This way? M, A, we made it. We, we made one mistake. <laughs> Uh, left? Oh, okay, cool. 
Hey, we're doing pretty good. Our name grows on these platforms like in crossword puzzles. Karim. I don't know if Karim's a reference to something, but these these other ones have uh, pretty unique names with like a lot of... I want to say context, but I don't know if that's the right word. Sharpedo over here, though. Let's go Thunderbolt. Yeah! Oh, shit. Uh... Swagger. Crap. Um... I'm just gonna Thunderbolt it, dude. Please, please, please. Ah, uh, <laughs> why? <gasps> why did it do so much? Why did Retro hit her so, so hard, dude? Oh, I snapped out. What the fuck, dude? She hit herself so hard, like 95% damage. I've never been particularly good at crosswords. I've never been particularly good at crosswords. I've never been particularly good. Okay, fucking dude. Everybody here just repeating themselves. I don't understand why it did just buku damage to her own self. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Like, it was just one swagger. It might just be just slowly on, like, the low health, but, like, Retro doesn't even have that high of attack to be doing that. That shit just made no sense. Alright, let's proceed. Now we're at the letter P. Uh, Q. Let's go top right. Ah, oh, fuck. That's uh, this way. Fuck! It was pointing at it. Alright, P. Over here. R. S. Uh, left. Okay, we're, we're back at S. Uh, to the right. T, okay. U. Oh, fuck. We're back at T. Okay. I thought there was just one teleport. My fucking bobblehead was just blocking the thing. Alright, we're at U. Uh, or is this V? I already forgot, but we have to make decisions. Um, top left? Hey, we made it. W. X. Um, bottom left. Fuck. This one? Yeah, W. X. Top right? Okay, we're at Y now. Let's just take on you right quick. Lau. I'm the only one. Uh, I'm the only thing that stands between you and the end of this game. Give it all you got, bro. I dare you. I dare you. I triple dog dare you. I forgot to switch, huh? Damn it. I was meaning to uh, switch my items around. I could take on Bi Barrel though. I mean, I don't think Bi Barrel would have gave all that much experience anyway. Crunch. Oh, dude, it, every move, every tiny move is fucking scaring me when Pikachu's out. Like, I don't know, man. <laughs> like, I, there's something gotta give. Level 35 for a bay. That's good. You can move your checker now. Bro, I'm I'm waiting for you. Actually, I don't even think this is how checkers are played. You can move your checker now. Yeah, I heard you the first time. You can move your checker now. Like, like, look, just look at the board right quick. Because there's the E down there, and then there's T over here, and we're at Y. Like, these aren't checkers. Like, the fuck kind of teleportation checkers plays like this? What? Uh, let's do that and that. Well, actually, I didn't even have to do that. Fuck. Well, that's fine. Let's go switch our items. Um, so we could, yeah, we could put uh, Incinera out for a little bit. We'll we'll just end up switching. Um, we'll, we'll end up switching you out unless you can uh, beat them. Then yeah, then I'll stay in. Lucky egg. And then we'll give you back the good old focus sash. Yeah, that's for the most part. Okay. Um, alright, let's continue to Y. Ah, oh, shit. Um, 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 top. Fucking hell. 
Um, yeah, also apologies for like the uh, the last episode because I had to go and post commentary because my laptop legit just turned off in the middle of it and I was trying to turn it back on as fast as I can as I was going through the dialogue. Um, like as if I was reading because I was reading it but I was multitasking the whole time. Uh, Alright, so Z is the bottom one. So yeah, I do have to apologize for that, because, I mean, at least the footage was salvaged. Like, the post-commentary was at a pretty good point where it didn't interrupt the flow of the episode. Like, it, had I just talked, it would have been fine, but I just felt weird about it. I don't know. A at least I enhanced it more by showing off the footage. You know, I gave it a reason to edit it there. Anyway, here's Abbas yet again. You skillfully overcome the second challenge, too. Now, there's just a third in the final game of this gym, the palm tree game. As you can see, this area of the pyramid is green and lush due to the miraculous water flowing here. This water, with its rich nutrients, also attracts a type of executor from far away. Oh, so those are actual little executors. I thought they were like decorations or something. How the fuck did they even manage to go here? Like, what? They have to fit through the pyramid and do the puzzles and shit, like, unless you have a different passage. That's weird. They are the real stars of this game. But they're not water type. Or oh, whatever. Some of them hide the access to a few rooms, inside which you have to get three water pearls. Only when you will have all three of them, you'll finally be able to reach the queen. I could only wish you well, Geo. Wait, how the fuck you know my name? What? Well, you're seeing me in the guise of Abbas, Queen's advisor, but you actually know me by another name. Joel. Hey, it's Joel, is the one dude that, like, helped us with the Gengar X episode. Damn. I sold you for helping the city. That's why I'll repay my debt with the Pokemon battle right now. Damn. Either he's been the advisor or he just got promoted. That's crazy. It's really fitting. I feel like he would have battled me anyway. Like, had I been a stranger, but, you know, that, that's that's pretty neat. We're, we're both level 34. I think I could take on you. I got cross shot. Yeah, yeah, I got this. Let's do this. Yeah! Oh, critical hit! Get out of here! The debut of Grandpappy El Tigre. Get the fuck out of here, Crawdont. Uh, I feel bad because it's Joel, and I'm, I'm cool with Joel. Damn. Honored to return the favor. I, I'm sorry for creating your turn on, Joel. I didn't mean to do you like that. Show this valor against the queen and you will have nothing to worry about. Uh, yeah, I didn't mean to shit on his crawd on, damn. Alright, so basically, there's water pearls hidden in secret passages underneath all these alone executors. With the red water pearl, the blue water pearl, and the yellow water pearl. Now, with these secret passages, you're supposed to check on every single Alolan Executor, and, uh, and that's pretty much for the most part. And I wish I could get a Pokemon in this grass, but it doesn't work that way. Um, let's go talk to you right quick, because I just saw you. The Queen will excuse me for rooting for you. Keep going, Chiyo. Alright, so let's go uh, check over here. And this green teleport actually takes you to the entrance if you need to heal. Um, and the good thing is, as soon as you use this green teleporter and you come back from the Pokemon Center, the green teleporter will be there in the entrance for you to go back to this part, because this is like the final section before facing the gym leader. So yeah, let us go proceed. Eggs! Alright. Eggs! This executor looks friendly. It lifted the leg showing his hidden entrance. Um, yeah, so that's basically the premise of it, because the other Alolan Executor just reacts, and this one is one of them that are hiding the passages. And, uh, there's three coffins with potentially a water pearl, nothing in it, or perhaps a trainer, or also nothing in it. So we have to pick which one it is, um, left. It is nothing! You lose! Good day, sir! Uh... Let's go in the middle, I think. Hey, we got the red water pearl. There we go. The red water pearl. There we go. Because we did see the the red clam pearl thing in the beginning. Like, the, the very first one. Would you like to open this ancient coffin? Sure, we might as well, right? <laughs> I, I, I gotta breathe in the coffin. 
This is Mazar. I'm sorry, dude. I should have picked this coffin first. Like, you know, I <laughs> I feel a little bad now. Beady Giddy. Oh, they never learn. They never fucking learn. I might as well switch to Moon Sand. Until they learn, it it's not gonna change. Like they gotta know that a water electric type, even though you got infestation, uh just just have to learn that they can't just use this on me like it's just impossible i wish it truly was water absorbed with defensive capabilities because i would have loved to have health back but let's just pretend that the giga drain is the water absorb okay let's just you know close our eyes and imagine and that's like the best we got that's the best we got i feel all right, one more Giga Drain, and that should be taken out. Quick Claw! Oh, I forgot I had a Quick Claw. You switched to another... Um... Why... Huh? Why do you switch to another one? They never learn! They never learn, sirs! They never learn. All right, let's go with another Giga Drain. Bro, what? Okay, that's just, that's kind of weird. I don't even know how many, uh, how many of them that I hit, you know? I'm not sure. Or, uh, how many hits me, actually, that's what I wanted to say. Oh, the Quick Claw activated. It did, like, two or three times already. See, this guy really is lacking oxygen, especially in the brain, if he didn't realize this now. Oh, he's a bear! Yeah, you definitely do need <laughs> I should thank you for feeding me, but not for defeating me. You sound like Batman over there, bro. What the hell? Uh, do I have my Incineroar heal, right? Okay, I was just checking. Alright, let's continue our search through these uh, trees right here. Eggs. Okay, what about you? Eggs. Okay. Because um, there's uh, this portion right here as well. Eggs. Eggs. This executor looks friendly. It lifted its legs, showing a hidden entrance. Are all these other lowland executors just not friendly then? Or, like, they just don't have the secret passage? Uh... Let's... Search... Right? Ah, oh, bro, there's something in there. Um... Let's go with this one. Oh, shit. Hiding in a sarcophagus and concealing my face with a mask. I'm the mystery in person. It's Nasha. I see you, Nasha. But the war turtle. Interesting. Um, I'm gonna switch over to Starscream right quick. Just to cover my bases. Cause I probably can, like, kill this war turtle, but it's gonna be a bit tough, so I might as well just end it now. Cause we're already closely, uh, getting to an hour already, and this- I'm pretty sure this is the last trainer if I- if I, like, have my notes correct. But you don't fall for mystery. I mean, we do have, like, a- like, you know, cause clearly this is supposed to be something, yeah? Yes, it's the water pearl. Um, we have one more water pearl after this, because this is the blue water pearl right here. But I'm pretty sure that's the last trainer, unless the last other section of sarcophagus has them. But let's continue our search. Eggs. 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 So many eggs. Eggs. Bro. What about this one? Eggs. This executor looks friendly. It lifted his legs, showing a hidden entrance. Okay, well, it had to been the last one, huh? Uh, let's see. Let's check the middle. Yeah. Okay, there's nothing in here. Okay, what about this one? That shit didn't even open. Okay, there it is. I don't know what the hell happened with that one. This one? Hey, it's the yellow water pearl. Perfect. 
And now we could go proceed. Yeah, there's no more trainers because uh, I, I had a feeling from it. But now that we got the red, blue, and yellow water pearl, let us proceed. And putting this, the shell vanished like magic. I don't know if these are supposed to be clan pearl's heads or something, but it's rather weird. And I don't know why they're vanishing when I thought they were going to just hop in the water. But that's just me. I don't know. Um, but we do see the gym leader up there, so I will be right back because I'm gonna go heal my Pokemon. So, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so I am back. So basically, I uh, went to the Pokemon Center and I looked at my Pokemon and decided how I'm gonna go approach this because... Yes, even though Moonsan is immune to water type Pokemon, um, that doesn't mean that uh, Queen Nufar doesn't have any answers for it. She actually does have answers for Moonsan, so it's not completely safe. But I wanted to show off something because um, basically I gave everybody certain items and like yeah, the Lucky Egg and Experience shares here, but that's because um, there's other items I wanted to give my Pokemon. Like for Moonsan, I wanted to give the bulb that we got from the semi-starter merchant. A consumable bulb, if the holder is hit by a water type move, its special attack will rise. So I think that's pretty important to give to Moonsan, so we'll do that. And for the other ones, um, if you want to take a look at what I gave them, pretty much I gave C4, the Paso Berry, that resists water type moves. I also got that from the semi-starter. And I gave the Passel Berry to El Tigre as well, you know, to cover that. And Pikachu got the Focus Sash, and I gave Bay the Quick Claw, so there's that. But even though half our Pokemon are fire types, uh, Starscream, as you saw taking out Gyarados, is, it, you know, sound type is strong against water types. And when a water attack hits Starscream, it just does neutral damage. It's not like it's super effective or anything. And like I said, Moonsand's immune to it. But there's two Pokemon in particular that I'm very worried about, so we'll see how we're gonna take them out. But we'll we'll have to do our best to defeat. But let us proceed against Queen Nufar. I've been waiting for you. Oh jeez, <laughs> I'm so nervous, I don't know about this. I feel like a teenage boy about to ask a girl on Valentine's Day. Oh jeez, I'm so... Okay, okay, I got this. Would you... No. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. My gym was designed to put a strain even on the brightest minds, but I see you went off without a hitch. Well, actually, I wouldn't expect anything less from... Uh, from le, le, le. I don't know why I can't talk. I wouldn't expect anything less from you, Geo, but let's cut the pleasantries. I hereby welcome you to the grand finale of the Palm Tree game. Formerly, this game was known as Lillipup and Lucario, a name that I much prefer, to be honest. What's the reason? Well, in the end, a defenseless Lillipup will be wolfed down by a predator. You can guess who's going to play as Lucario. Get ready to battle with all your strength. Is Lucario even like a predator like that? Like he just looks like a humanoid Pokemon. Like I know he could eat meat, but I don't think he would hunt lily pups like that. But Queen Nufar looking lovely as ever with like I said the Empoleon and Milotic design and she's holding a dive ball too. Yeah. With the beady giddy, they never learn! And that's why I started with Moon Sand. Um, I'm just gonna go straight off the bat and use the Giga Drain. Like, I can milk this to get my defense up, but since water types are primarily special attacking, there's kind of no point to do it. So I'm just gonna just attack them over and over again. Until it dies, dang it, until it dies. Um, I guess I could Toxic and then, like, dig for, like, the next Pokemon, perhaps? No, it's okay, let's just attack it. Uh, how many raises is that? Four or some shit? How the fuck could I miss, bro? What? Oh, you're just gonna switch? Okay, so this is Hanshin. Yes, in case we never introduce uh, this Pokemon. It is a dragon type. It is the evolution of Kidoon. And I struggled against this thing in the grinding montage because I had a toxic kit and <clears throat> I had to kept switching it out and it was very problematic. Like, that, it was really, really bad. I am gonna switch it to... I don't know actually. 
Because I, I feel like it is going to use a dragon move. Or perhaps a water move. But Starscream's weak to dragon, so that's part of the reason why. Let's go to Vey? I really want to switch to Pikachu to confuse it. To, like, hinder it. I should have known it's going to do that. Um... Crap. Okay, let's go... Damn it, uh, I really want to switch back to Moonsand though. It's a female Hanchen too, damn it dude. Okay, let's hope that it goes for the Scald. I mean, I could have stayed in, but I know it has other moves. It doesn't just have Scald in there. It's fine, it's fine. Let's go for the dig. Fucking crunch. Oh my god. Okay, okay. This way I at least burn a turn. Hyper potion? Are you shitting me? Ah. Uh. I might as well try to heal. Let's let's just go for it. No, but it's not enough. Hold on, let me use the Star Cider. Oh yeah, I bought more Star Ciders, by the way. I'm forgetting. Like, I try to uh, stack up on certain items. It's not using Crunch again. Okay. I... I'm gonna use Dig again. Perfect. I don't know why you're switching into you. I'm still a bit like... I fucking missed. What the hell? Um, Giga Drain. What the fuck, dude? Stop switching! It just resetted its stupid... Oh, I should've just went for the dig. It's it's so dumb. It's so dumb! Dig! Okay, it should die next turn. Whether I miss or not, right? Yeah. Alright, and then you just send out the other Pokémon, and it should be good. That was such an elaborate way of doing it. Like, I know I could've stayed in there. Milotic? This is her ace Pokemon. Fuck. I'm gonna stay in because I got my dig ready. Level 38. What the hell? And it's faster than me and it tried to ice beam me. That is not good. I really need a toxic kit. It's scalding. Good. It's not processing that it... It, it might have marvel skill, but I don't give a shit. I need to poison this thing. That's, that's a must. Uh... I really want to switch to Starscream, because Starscream would be pretty good in this case. I haven't killed one fucking Pokemon yet. Scald! Uh, oh, it does so much! Bro! Oh my god. I either heal Starscream or I switch back to Moonsand. Fucking hell, dude. I'll go back to Moonsand. I feel like it's gonna scald again. Fucking what? Oh, oh. <laughs> Moonsand! Oh, why? Uh -huh. Let's go with Retro. I think I got a good chance against this thing. I'm a sweet kiss. It fucking outspeeds me. What? Ah, it's level 38. I, I really should have grinded just a tiny bit more. Holy shit. Okay, let's go with, uh, Thunderbolt. I outspeed it. <laughs> oh, hurt yourself, please! Oh my god! Holy shit! Pikachu, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Don't even say out there. Beauty Giddy! Oh shit, dude. Uh, who has Quick Attack? You do? You have Quick Attack, right? Fuck. No, but you you got Jet Strike, but that's only if you kill him. What should I do here? 
I could either send out Starscream and, and Jet Strike and then heal on the next Pokemon. Or... Uh, yeah, let's just do that. Because I have to get Starscream healed up anyway. It should die to this Jet Strike because I got Buku damage huge power. It fucking missed?! No, bruh, Jet Strike, come on, hit- why did you miss? Ah, oh, we got so lucky on the Rain Dance, what the hell? Comfagrius. Comfagrius? The fuck? Yeah, that is because it is an Xenoversal Comfagrius, and it's not like the Ace, so that's why you don't see it in the thumbnail. I have to fully heal it. Um, for sure. So let's go with the Hyper Potion. I'm not gonna go do anything else. Ancient Power? Are you shitting me? Oh my god! Fuck! Oh shit, dude. I have to attack it. I, I'm pretty sure I outspeed. Let's go with the Hyper Voice. Hyper Voice! Oh, I hit. oh my god. That was... Oh, my my arm is shaking. Holy crap. I was so worried for that. I was... I... I think... I'm pretty sure it was Water Ghost type. Unless it was Water Rock. But I'm almost certain it's Water Ghost. Jesus, Gym Leader Queen Nufar is defeated. Your power rushed me like a torrent. I'm so sorry, Moon Sand. I told you she had answers for that. Oh, Moon Sand. <laughs> what a great battle. That was awfully good. He will go really far, Geo. I'm sure about it. With my badge, you already got four of them, so you're not an average trainer anymore. We got ourselves the title badge, which I feel like is a badge that should already exist, if not already does exist. Or, you know, if I said should or whatever, I don't know. That's the title badge, the emblem of my gym as well as your victory today. And I have a small gift for you too. And we got TM55. What is that TM? Um... This TM contains Scald, a water type move that can also lead the enemy with the burn. It's a powerful attack, but it may turn into a double-edged sword if used on a frozen Pokemon. Well, you got what it takes to venture into the arid Sunflare Canyon. Head east, but please be careful. Now you have the new power in your hands. The enemies on your path will be more and more terrible. I wish you safe travels. Just know that I'll be ready to lend a helping hand whenever you need. Oh my god, <laughs> sad. Why did she say the whole Scald thing like, oh, to just be wary to not use it on a frozen Pokemon? Why would I do that? What? Uh, oh my gosh, I don't feel okay. But Moonsand did the most it possibly could. Let's go talk to you. You didn't let the beauty of the gym leader bewitch you. You're a true alpha, and you got the better of her. Now you have four badges. You're exactly halfway in your trainer journey. What? You want to know who I am and why? I just need to know I'm cheering for you. You know, I thought you were going to say that at first and you didn't, so I'm kind of thrown off, honestly. All right, so you know what time it is. It is time not only to go on the PC and mourn our loss and everything. Uh, I am going to get... I am in the wrong house. What the fuck? How did I end up in here? I thought that was the Pokemon Center. Over here, that's what it was. Mourn our loss with a fallen comrade of Moonsan. Look at our, our Pokemon here, by the way. Um, oh my gosh. No, oh my god. I feel so bad. I feel so bad. I'm gonna take your item though. The bolt didn't even do anything, bro. What the fuck? Maybe because it was, it like treated like if it was immune or something? Ugh, shit. 
Okay, well, let's give it a second before we decide on the next team member because I want to pop up the mystery gift codes um, and uh, and pretty much get ourselves a gym leader Pokemon. So let me go with typing this in. Like, I think I remember for the most part uh, what it's based off of, but uh, fun fact for you guys, I was planning to do this much sooner. But I kind of missed the boat on it since I was pretty much sick in the end of January and uh, that left me pretty behind. Not that I could catch up because I had to do a lot of grinding and there was a lot of episodes in between. So realistically, I would have never, you know, did everything on time. How did I open the mystery gift screen? It was like S, right? Or some shit. A, S. There it is. Okay. Okay, so the code that we're going to be doing today, um, let's see here, it is, uh, let me just put all caps before everything else, spoiler, love, 14, for the good old Valentine's Day special that we didn't do, because <laughs> it's almost been a month, and I uh, couldn't do it till now, because, yeah, you really think about it, like, around the time I uploaded, that was the end of January, so I had a, you know, I was thinking of double uploading, and then triple uploading, and that would never have worked, like, I had so much grinding to do, and then, yeah, and, and my laptop been fucking up, like, everything against me, the, the, the nature, everything, like, I was sick, and, and I had my cough, but yeah, we got Iggly, Love, 14. And we got ourselves our Valentine special Vintage Iggly Buff, which is going to be hard to use. But since Valentine's Day just uh, passed upon us, already passed, I thought it was going to be fitting if I had like this gym leader episode on Valentine's Day, you know, against Queen Nufar, who is a beauty and everything, that I thought it'd be fitting to put it th uh, that way. But you know life happens but let's go take a look at the PC to take a look at this thing and uh yeah Iggly buff with the special type of pokeball I, don't, I really don't know what that is it might be the love ball or something but it's holding a sweetheart which I don't know what that is either but it's normal type and ought to starkey which I think it's like the beehive studios thing the fence is up speed is down with cute charm with the tract Literally would just attract. Oh dear god. And yeah, this is gonna be our mystery gift mon, and it likes to thrash about. So yeah. We are, in fact, gonna be giving Pikachu a little bit of a break. You know? Um, and the focus sash was burnt? Are you shitting me? I'm so- I have Wi-Fi battles stuck in my brain that I forgot that happens. Um, and I don't know what other Pokemon to use. Like, I approached the idea of, like, all Fire-type team or all Ghost-type team or getting close to it. And I also approached the idea if I should, uh, you know, get Rog and Rolla. Aotola the Rog and Rolla, you know? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh yeah, I forgot to... I saw... You know, I'm kind of glad I did went here on accident. I forgot to release you. Uh, hold on, we'll look, <laughs> look at you right quick. Ice body, neutral nature, and yeah, that's for the most part. We already used this token, and I was right about being token 9, but yeah, let's go free this thing. Um, yeah, so glad I did that. That was an accident. But yeah, Aotola, the Roken Rolla, um, right here, because you can get it into a Gigalith if you want, if, if that's what you're interested in, or... I could trade the Geodude for an Alolan Geodude, because this is Darunia. So it really depends on you guys, if you guys want me to do that. So, uh, I would have that as a question of the day, but you could just say so in the comment section below. Because the question of the day is going to be, how well did I did against the gym leader and all that? And, you know, what could I have done better? Um, and yeah, I'll determine which Pokemon I'll put in in the next episode. But yeah, there there's, might be some, like, a few changes here and there. So yeah, we'll see.
And uh, yeah, let's go with the secondary light goal of, of course, six likes and everything. So be sure to do that. And, you know, I do that as like a short term goal. So whenever that's hit, we could get another additional episode alongside and everything. And yeah, in the next episode, we will head east into the Sunflare Canyon and everything. So I'm very much looking forward to that. So yeah, if you like this episode, don't forget to press that like button. If you really like this episode, please consider subscribing. If you haven't considered subscribing yet, please watch another one of my videos. I play the video games. Any of you like playing video games, you might like my stuff. With that being said, just be sure to answer the question of the day along with which Pokemon were you be interested? Would you be interested in seeing in our team? And uh, yeah, that's for the most part everything. So. White Tigers and Dragons to you, and you've been scarred by the night. I'm out. Don't be fine. The monsters are living under your bed, cause they are the voices in your head.